Reading novels in the classroom is an excellent way to get your kids to fall in love with reading. But what novels and what activities should you choose for your classroom? That's what this video is all about. As a veteran upper elementary teacher, I'm going to show you my top recommendations for novels and the activities to go with them. Let's go, teacher friend. My favorite, favorite children's book author is a man named Christopher Paul Curtis. Love all of his books, right? So he's written Elijah of Buxton is one. The Watsons Go to Birmingham, 1963. I've read this book so many times in the classroom. Bud, Not Buddy. My favorite children's book ever. I've lost count of how many times I've read it. Like you can see my little teacher copy. And it's actually falling apart. I even have my little pamphlet that I keep inside the book with chapter questions and all my teacher notes. Okay, so why... Like if you're teaching upper elementary school, you're looking for a novel study or a chapter book to have in the classroom. I highly recommend any Christopher Paul Curtis book. He's also written The Mighty Miss Malone and some others. Two reasons why this man is my favorite. Number one, kids love the books. <laughs> like even some of my most reluctant readers over the years fell in love with his books. He's funny, like, okay, can you tell I'm excited because I'm jumping all around. He's funny, but the topics in his books aren't watered down. He's got realistic fiction, historical fiction genres, and he tells the truth about hard history. Like this one is set in the 1960s, civil rights movement. He talks about the churches that were bombed, the black churches that were bombed, the little girls who were killed and some of those racist bombings. But the book is still funny and engaging for kids like that third through sixth grade uh, age range. He does not water down hard history and he tackles these topics like but not buddy. We talk about homelessness, poverty, child abuse, but we're also learning about the Great Depression and what life was like during that time. Elijah of Buxton, uh, we're talking about slavery, what life would have been like for little kids as runaway slaves. We talk about things like, okay, what do you do when there's a law or a rule that hurts other people? Is it wrong to obey the law or wrong to stand up against it? Like, how do you determine who's right or who's wrong when laws are set up that hurt other humans? These are some tough topics to kind of grapple with as a teacher. Some people even consider talking about them political. I've never felt that way as a teacher. I feel like it's my job to teach accurate history, to teach the truth, to not shy away from hard topics because I want to send my kids out into the world uh, taking their academic knowledge and being able to apply it in character education, right? L real life issues. So I'm, I'm rambling, but if you are looking for some good chapter books or good books to read in your classroom this year, Christopher, Paul, <laughs> Curtis, yay, check him out. You will thank me later, trust me. <laughs> Another novel I highly recommend is a book called Holes by Lewis Satcher. This book has been a favorite in my fourth grade classroom every year that I have read this book with students. I think it's an excellent novel to teach sequence and theme. And it's about a boy named Stanley Yelnats who has to go to a camp called Camp Green Lake. And chapter one starts off with, there is no lake at Camp Green Lake. My students crack up laughing, but also have very deep discussions about some of the life issues that Stanley has to face. I think this is an excellent novel for your classroom. Another wonderful novel to read with your upper elementary students is Because of Winn-Dixie by Kate DiCamillo. 
the main character's name is India Opal Baloney. So just that right there catches students' attention. Uh, this is such a wonderful novel about friendship. So if you have any units or themes for character education, I recommend this one. Um, the main character is a dog, so that makes teaching um, about personification and figurative language such a breeze. My students absolutely love this novel. I will say the reading level for this book is 3.9, which is end of the year third grade. And because of that reason, as a fourth grade teacher, I use this novel as our introductory novel. I start off the school year with it because I really feel like it's a great starter novel. If you've never done novel studies in your classroom before, no matter what time of the school year you start, this would be a really good novel to start with. It's, it's an easy read. It has diversity in it. It teaches kids about becoming friends with people that they may not have thought about being friends with. And I also absolutely love it for teaching tier two vocabulary words. So this is another great novel choice for your upper elementary classroom. Let's pivot and talk about two of my favorite reading activities to use with the novel studies. The first is called book talk prompt cards. I pull these out with any novel. We use them whole class instruction and small groups. I even sometimes will pair my students as partners and have them pull out their book talk prompt cards to discuss a novel with their neighbor. Not only do these have questions, but also sentence stems so that students know how to talk about their novel in an appropriate way while staying on subject. And these work with any novel that we read in class. I also put them on book rings to keep them organized. My second favorite reading activity is my character traits graphic organizers. These also work with every novel that we read in class. I also designed them to work with whole group and small group. We don't just analyze the characters with these graphic organizers. We also focus on character traits, which is a huge academic standard pretty much for every state. I added lots of activities in with these so that students could talk about different character traits with different characters. I also included a car game. Both of these reading activities are linked in the description below. If you want some more book recommendations, I have a blog post that has the 10 best novel studies for fourth and fifth graders. This blog post tells you um, why I recommend novel studies, how I implement them and the books, including a free guide that you can download that gives you the Lexile reading level, the accelerated reading level, and all those other nitty gritty details about each book that I recommend and have used for novel studies in my classroom. So the link is below, head over to the Butterfly Teacher to check out that post. And of course, my Amazon storefront has even more book lists because I love recommending the different books that I've read in the classroom with students. That is also linked for you below. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more teacher videos. See you next time, teacher friend. Thank you.